Hi YouTube, I guess this is part three. Hello. Sorry this stream's so broken up. Um Here, let's go back to the who's still here by the way? I'm assuming quite a few. Yeah, it does seem like quite a few. Thank you for thank you everyone for showing up today. There's been quite a lot of people and I don't know why and I really appreciate it. Let's load up uh let's load up this playlist that we were on last time. And it, oh, it even remembers where I left off. That's kind of neat. I didn't even know how to do that. Anyways, uh, you guys want more? You guys want more P uh, new PMD music? I'm gonna play more. So uh, this. It's a shame we're not going to get to the Halloween events during October, but oh well. Even your prescribed. Oh, but good for you, Flippy. I'm glad more people have. Actually, there's a lot of people have paused now. This is good. Shadox pause are good things. So, where do we leave off? Is Cheryl. Did Cheryl leave? I was, I was kind of confused because Beerus said, Oh, that's unfortunate after I said the paws were good. I was like, What are you talking about, Beerus? <laughs> What was, what's unfortunate? I don't know what's unfortunate. Oh, the, the Halloween thing. Oh, okay, you're a bit copy on that. Am I delayed? She's still in the chat? Maybe she's just uh, a little bit of AFK for now. That's all right. I thought Beerus was saying paws were unfortunate, and I was like, so it took Beerus away and replaced him with a fake double. Anyways, this is Requiem Manor. There will be a Mistrevis. So basically, there will be a spooky manor run by Mistrevis. Well, no, run by Miss Magius, actually, but... They sing they sing an elegy of death. So this song is actually sharing their singing. The deeper voice in this is Miss Magius. Also, is it loud enough? Looks loud enough. Oh, by the way, I do remember that you guys wanted to hear the tournament music. Who, who wanted to hear that? I feel like LKM mentioned it. We will get to that in a little bit. As soon as I play the new music. All the way through. There's not that many tracks. There's not that many tracks, he says, and then notices actually he has an hour and 22 minutes of music here. Oh, he's out. We're already half through it, so whatever. This is just a small portion of music, too. You're mentioning it. Okay, well, you'll definitely get to the tournament stuff. Just sit tight on that. Also, I'm not going to eat any of the snacks I got, but I did get quite a few. I mean, I will eat them, just not right now. I want to draw. Yes, Miss Miss Strevis, Miss Magius, they're not they've never really been used in PMD. If you're wondering how, how coming up with characters for PMD generally or for a poker role generally works, I I, I usually talk to Kara about uh, Pokemon that have not had plot roles in the PMD games. That's usually how it goes. So we discuss Pokemon that have never really had a plot role. And Miss Strevis and Miss Magius are wonderful examples of this. Oops, it's oh it's shuffling, hold on. I don't want it shuffling. Stop shuffling. All right, here's the uh, here's here's the battle against Miss Magius. The the battle will be a ballad. <laughs> The basic idea is that this mansion is is constantly emanating a haunted song that curses those who hear it. And we'll probably have to deal we'll have to get to the source of the matter. 
So Miss Vegas will literally be singing during her boss fight with us. So this is her singing. Yeah, we are discussing Poke Girl. Let's continue to discuss this since I was talking about it last time. Before I left. Trip went well, by the way. It's very cold outside, though. Ice Fairy? That does sound cool. Oh, it's kind of dorky. I like it. Armus Vegas is gonna be like, hold on. We have to find it. Trying to find the picture I found the other night. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna mute that for a sec. All right, let's see here. Where the hell did it go? I love when you try to. I love it when you find something on a website and then you search for an exam and then suddenly it's gone. It's always fun when that happens. <clears throat> Let's see. Where was it? So how's everybody? How's everybody during my break? Hopefully well. That's what you got. That's you got some weird images. I can't find it now. I'm sad. There's a great singing picture. Where'd it go? You know what? That'll probably do, though. Close enough. It's not singing, but it is the right look. Here you go. Replacement picture. Was doing fine. Thought you weren't going to come back. It was. Well, it is a bit of a walk. I apologize. So it's all like that. Um, all right, let it keep playing. So here's here's a. I'm sorry about the delay. I actually walked pretty fast, but it's it's a bit of a trip. It's still a bit of a trip. So here's the cute cafe. This is gonna be the caf this is gonna be a cafe and sea spray that is basically a maid cafe with feral quadrupeds that are cute and small being the ones serving. I need to see Tucker and Greg. If Tucker is unlucky, he'll get recruited, maybe. Tucker does have an interest in cute things, so he might gravitate. Ever so shyly, but perhaps. Anyways, this song's adorable. And pretty much, like, perfect for the cafe, so...
Tucker and Drake? What? You kind of want the Miss Magius theme? The Miss Magius theme is... Uh, you can look up Paratune, that's P-E-R-I-Tune. -E as in music tune. You can look up, uh, Carnival Dark Paratune, and you'll find it. Also, I want to remind anybody who cringes over the idea of a Maid Cafe and Sea Spray. Though everybody finds it cute so far, I think. But I just want to point out that Maid Cafes are not about porn. Some people think they are. They aren't. They are literally about cuteness. They are technically about eye candy, but in the cute sense, so... Um... Oh yeah, this. Uh, so hey! Destiny Tower. Does this need an introduction? Oh yeah, we already have a costume planned. I've linked it before. So who, who here doesn't know what Destiny Tower is? Ah, oh, okay. Destiny Tower is usually the final mega dungeon in, in both Explorers and Super. It might be in Gates too? I'm not sure. Somebody can confirm or deny if, if Destiny Tower is in Gates. Yes, Destiny Tower. It will be significant in our game. We might not hear the song for a while, but it is significant. Our, um, Destiny Tower, Arceus's Tower. Oh my god, Max. Max likes to dress up too? <laughs> That's cute. Remember, Tucker is super fucking bashful and shy, but at the same time he does like cute, cute outfits, so... Copying the C for a specific reason. I might need to invert my position in this picture for the thumbnail. It actually probably would be better to invert this. And maybe I should just do that before I continue any further. How do you do that fast? I forget how you do that fast. Right. That. Except it only does one layer of tie. Whoops. There we go. Basically, it'd probably be better to have myself facing this way for the thumbnail. Because I'll probably dump myself in the lower left. I could have my ass face in the middle of the thumbnail, but... Hmm. Options. I'll have to think about it. Regardless, I gotta copy the scene for now. Explorers of Sky? Gates has something like that. But it's, it's Hyper said you have to pay real money, which is kind of, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, purchasable dungeons in Gates. Hopefully when I totally play the game legitimately from a real, uh, cartridge, I can have all the dungeons, uh, have, have all the dungeons I don't lock, hopefully. Oh, Gates had a lot of DLC. That's another reason that Gates put me off, actually. Initially.
But yes, Mystery Tower- or Destiny Tower, not Mystery Tower. There should be a Mystery Tower. Mystery Tower. But yeah, uh, Destiny Tower is a very- it's basically the end game, usually. Like, it's usually the final dungeon you can do. Not always, but... Dusty Tower Zenith. Micro to that. Yeah, it's not that much money for a dungeon. I think I bought a couple when I played the game. Then I wasn't sure what I thought and I stopped the game. Destiny Tower Zenith. Since Destiny Tower is a 99 floor dungeon, the Zenith would actually be in the upper atmosphere and would look really cool. Actually, I have a I have a screenshot to what it would look like if you looked out a window from the tower. Or where I put that. Here, this one. Show it to you guys. Something like this would be the view from the zenith of the tower. Upper atmosphere, it's not quite the space, but it's a 99 floor tower, so yes. <laughs> yes, this is uh, one of those dungeons that has two themes because it's big and important. I like dungeons having two themes where they're big and important. Wonderful. It's, it's, I'm basking in the pleasure of it. The pleasure of the heft, the weight, the warmth. To be a, a fat for or a it's it really is a case of enjoying the encumbrance, enjoying the fact that you can't move around easily. You basically relish your own encumbrance. That's that's true. That's true. Vorish bliss, bliss right there. Or just fat for this. Happy being a fat wolf, but you have to burn it off. Pray only person. Well, you could add to the encumbrance, so you're fine. So here's an event song. We don't have a lot of these normally. Peace on the plains. a nice happy song for the plates got it. I 
I know I enjoyed the feeling when I can't move on my own anymore. My nature prevents that from happening just from fatness, so. <laughs> so even if you get much, even if you get even fatter, Cheryl, you can still squish and push that weight around to move around. You're very strong, then. Aren't Shadok's weightless? I mean, yes and no. Depends. It depends on if we want to enjoy that weightlessness or not. We can turn it on and off, basically. Actually, I have a picture that shows this off. Well, hold on. Where is it? Here it is. It's another collab project I should do at some point. This is, this is an example of me float, just having a nice float. This is me having a nice float. And a bloat. Float bloat. Float float. I have a very glorious tail, if you haven't realized this at this point. It's usually quite a thing. Also, uh, I think that's the flats. Let's see. <clears throat> so do I, do I want to do anything else with this before I make it a thumbnail? Aw, thank you, Yoshi. There are some slim and nerdy ones. Well, there's no nerdy ones, but there are slim ones. I see, Cheryl. I'd love to watch you walking around with a lot of belly and squishing it about and just having no problems whatsoever. So basically, your weight is exceptionally uh, soft, pillowy, and pliable. It can just be squished however you need it. That's quite nice. There are different types of fat, after all. Um... So I have a question, guys. If I made this a thumbnail... Oh, I guess we're gonna listen to that again, sure. You know what? I like this song, why not? So let me demonstrate something. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There, okay. This is how the thumbnail would be, basically. <clears throat> Just to give a random mock-up example. You'd have the game picture, game title. And then maybe some little verb text here. So this would be how the thumbnail shape would be. So the question really is, should I be, should my butt be facing towards the middle of the, of the thumbnail, or should my head be facing towards the middle of the thumbnail? I'm thinking head, but I want your guys' opinion. Makes more sense, I think. <clears throat> the other question is, should I cut my tail out of the picture, partially? To, to make it fit, so I fit better in the corner. Basically, should I crop to, like... Like here. I might crop it, I don't know. I'm trying to debate. No opinion on tail cut off. It might be fine, because it's just the tail. I'm missing my beads on this, but that's alright. I guess I'm going, uh, full power. I guess I'm going un unrestrained power right now. Alright, so let's flip this guy around. By the way, it's, what's kind of, kind of cool is just turning off the lines and looking at what I did with the color. It's kind of neat. Oh. Hold on. When I flipped it, it went off center. Well, that's, that's a bit of a quandary, that. 
All right, hold on. All right, let's flip this together. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay, that, that, that went better. And you remember that C I saved? There's a reason I did that. Where did I put it? There it is. All right, now for Stone Alcazar. You guys remember the Sax, the Salandit gang, right? Salandits. This is Salazzle's headquarters, Stone Alcazar. <clears throat> I'm glad too, Cheryl. That looks good like that, I guess. It's a bit more. That's, that's good. That's why I have the extra C. <laughs> <clears throat> Now look, that, that'll make a pretty nice thumbnail. Now I could actually add shade to this. I'm kind of tempted to. I don't think I've really heard anything. May as well do a <clears throat> Man, throat stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little cleanup first, though. I'm gonna clean up some of the unnecessary lines here and there. Oh, I just noticed an issue. No, it's not an issue, it's just. Okay, never mind. Actually, who here is excited about us actually fighting Salazzle later? I hope you th I hope you like this song. The Salazzle fancies herself a bit of a desert princess, wears gold and stuff that she stole. So in other words, she's a complete. She's a she's the bad, leader of a bad thieves, but a bit of a princess about it. Also quite evil. She might act pampered, but she could probably be quite a, quite dangerous in battle. Yep. Well, not fat. She's gonna be actually quite slicky. Um. I've, I've, there's only one example of a Salazzle wearing... Yeah, here it is. Something like this. They look quite good with jewelry on. The natural... It looks very good on them. Hello. Hello, Luxray. How you doing, Tari? I didn't call for a Luxray, but I'm never I'm never against having a Luxray. I mostly cleaned up the outside lights. No, yeah. Hey, you guys like the- a lot of people seem to like the daycare kids. It's a nice little brambunctious bunch of them. So here's a thief for them.
It's perfect. It sounds very cute, Pokemon, and it's got the little... It's also got a nice little bit of, like, a little bit of uh, the violin, which is appropriate. Savon Town has sort of a violin feel to it. It's, it's a country town. And this song reflects that well. Doesn't this feel exactly like a PMD song? I love this song. I just love how much a lot of Paratoon's music sounds perfect for PMD. Helps, <laughs> Kiyoshi. You probably look good at it. Gotta get you out of like a nice bright pink, probably the match to constant contrast your black fur. So, um. ah. Well, Cheryl, yeah, it seems harder for a tulpa because you guys have to connect with the brain in a way that I don't have to. I'm already that way, so. coming by, Tari, even if you're tired. I'm just gonna clean up the sketch line so this is nicer for the thumbnail. That's what I'm doing now. Ah, yes, so. I should not play this song without playing its pair. Why am I doing not playing the pair? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna add one more song into this list. One, one sec. I can't play Mount Shiver Peak without playing Mount Shiver again. That's that's a rule. Gotta pay it. It's a pair of songs, so. Let's see, where's... Now, some of you have heard Mount Shiver. I assume a number of you have, but not all of you, probably. Oh, don't worry, I'll get the I'll get the tournament songs mixed in now, too, by the way. So, just a second. All right, here's Mount Shiver. And I'll get the tournament songs now loaded, too. Cheryl, I want- oh man, you in a maid outfit would look amazing, I'm sure. Just think about how your fat would pillow out from it. <laughs> you know, the outfit I, I thought of for Tucker is one that uh, is- it leaves the belly pretty open, so the- his chubbiness wouldn't get in the way, you know? Alright, let me see here. After the Mount Shiver songs, we'll be playing the tournament songs, those of you who wanted to hear it. Uh, let's see. Loy the songs right now. Where's the semi-final song? Hmm, lost it. Huh. I mislabeled this, didn't I? I did. Hold on a moment. Fix that. All right, there. I loaded everything. Back to the picture. Good night to you. Good night to you, Beerus. <laughs> We can actually both be in it. Yeah, you guys can be both in at once. And I'm not in is, is, is Carcer still here? No. 
All right, Karsus is one of the few people that has actually seen multiple of, of us out at the same time. Karsus, Karsus, me, and Mizuko did share a special event together, um, and I, we, me and me and Mizzy, me and Mizzy RP'd with Kar at the same time, taking turns. It was, it was very much, it was very straining, but we can do this occasionally. Also, this is a good song, isn't it? I like this song. Yes! I'm gonna mess with all the battle lines because they add, kinda add character, I feel. All the smish lines. I'm like cleaning up what I like, hear and there, you know? I don't feel like cleaning that up is a great idea. Mostly just clean out the outside lines. Clean up the outside lines. I have played this song before, so I can understand you guys already know the song. But it is a good song. But however, Mount Shiver Peak is a new song, so that's why I'm playing this now. Actually, part of the reason I'm doing this line clean up is just to clean this up here. I don't know what was going on here. This, this is mess up lines here. Yeah, well, it's prob it, Aragon's probably correct about it just being a load issue, so when it's late, we're not going to see issues, and when it's not late, we are going to see issues. It's, he's probably right on that, unfortunately. I really wish it was something more technical or, like, you know, some actual error. But that might be all it is, and if that's the case, then I kind of need the business package to ensure reliability because my ISP is clearly not super concerned about load. Anyways, here's Mount Shiver Peak, when you get to the top of it. Or rather, when we get to the peak of it, I, su I suppose I should say. Okay, see you later, Ruby. And see you again later. <laughs> I think I'm too fat to move at this point, if you look at the picture, so oh, you're probably fine. Ba -da -da -ba. Does this not sound like a PMD song, though? Like a very important dungeon song? Love this.
And Mount Shiver is a very important dungeon, so it deserves a good peak song. Oh, really, Shiro? <laughs> I bet it feels a bit restrictive of your weight, but that's part of the fun. Yeah, doesn't it, Elkan? I can give you a few details about Mount Shiver. The other, the Plates Continent would be identical in appearance to the Sand Continent if it wasn't for Mount Shiver. Mount Shiver is a northern area of the Continent Mountain that has a bit of Articuno's power in it. Articuno once roosted there, and the power of that ice type remains. And thanks to that, it cools the northern part of the continent, and in, in, in turn, it keeps the southern part of the continent from turning into a desert. Though parts of the southern continent are still a desert, as it is hot down there. Uh, that's why the plains, you know, it's a savanna, it's hot. But it's still not so hot that it can't have green. Greenery and cultivation, and, you know, growth. However, when it comes to us exploring Mount Shiver, Mount Shiver's not doing so hot when we get to it. Mount Shiver's got problems going on. It has suddenly erupted, because there is actually a dormant volcano inside of it as well. And suddenly it is spewing lava and it is losing its icy ability. And we'll have to go, we'll have to get to the bottom of what's going on. And I, I might know a few details, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything else. Yes, I've mentioned this before. I don't mind missing I don't mind mentioning little details of intrigue for for the stream though. For my stream for my for those willing to watch like this. Da, 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 da. Da. Oh yeah, I did. At one point in time. It's great it's greatly different from our game. It has its own plot line entirely. Some sort of, it's like a guidance story or something. I, I think that's the term for it. Mount Shiver should be a really cool dungeon. Icy mountain spewing of lava. But as the higher you get to the top, it's, that's not where the lava is spewing, so it's going to be really cold at the peak. I have done a little cleanup. I think this looks a lot better. I don't want to clean up all the sketch lines, because some of them add, like, smush and death. I'm not definitely, definitely not messing with the belly, because all that kind of deserves it. I guess I should probably clean this line up, though. Anyways, tournament! You want to know more about the tournament songs? Well, here's the tournament side-ups, aka kind of just hanging around the tournament when you're not fighting. A snowy mountain that is flowing of lava, actually. Which is kind of a new development, and it shouldn't be doing that, basically. Yeah, the belly looks good with the sketchiness, because it has all the smush lines that we kind of need. I will, however, clean up the butt a bit. Yes, now you can finally now we can finally go to the tournament music, so. Enjoy. Uh, this is the... What is this? This is mistitled, but let's see. This is the Between Rounds song. Right. Um. Again, I didn't play Undertale, but you have a pretty good voice. You have a pretty good voice, dude. All the same. Sorry to make you waste all your voice acting uh, efforts. Eventually I'll try to do an actual pro group fan project involving voice acting, but mm, now is not the time. I'll figure it out for the future, though. No, I've learned a few things. Alright, here's the general tournament battle theme. Thank you. 
Basically for the lower tier battles. This place. You're going on about wolves again, I see. <laughs> hmm. All right. I have to kind of you have to see a bit. Leave that there. It's kind of a little chest thing. My chest is very soft, so I shouldn't I should not mess with the lines there either. Um. This is for the semifinals. Okay, Cheryl, I should be going. I can also add lines, I'm just not bothering a lot of times. Maybe I should clean up the lines, I don't know. Is it necessary? Probably not. I can do it if I- I can like connect lines if I want to. It's not really necessary though. I'm okay with uh, random sketch lines that go with the go with the flow of the other lines, but when they're perpendicular like this, they kind of are distracting. But that's a good time to remove them. Like this line's not so big a deal, but I'll remove it anyways. This line blocks a little bit of this, so I'll just kinda, there. Same with this. Clean up sketch lines is kind of just a pick what you want to do sort of thing. Demonstrated pretty well right there. I think I'll just clean this away too. There we go. And then, of course, here is the uh, here is the finals for the tournament. Oh, sorry, it's really something. Yep, that looks better. It is! Can you tell what it's a remix of? Well, I mean, it kind of says right here. But can you tell what game it's from? Let's see if everybody figures it out. There's a reason I use this song. It is second generation, but what specific game is this from? It's a remix of a remix, essentially.
The hint is in the in the first part of the title, actually. Yes, there you go, LKM. This was an intentional decision. Because Pokemon are organizing a battle tournament. Incidentally, the battle tournament plays like a normal plays exactly like the main series. Four moves are allowed. It's much more regulated than a PMD battle. So, when you get to this, if, if we indeed get to the finals, we will be basically doing a pro this whole This whole tournament is basically like proper Pokemon series tournament. It's like Pokemon Stadium. It's like Pokemon Stadium. That's the fun development here. This whole tournament is essentially Pokemon figuring out how to do organized Pokemon battles, much like the humans did once upon a time. Which I think is kind of a neat idea. <laughs> I think I'll go around fixing some lines now. Anyways, that's all the tournament music. Say Amber calls him because the latter has team battles at the core. Yeah. Could be a little bit, a bit of both. So this song is interesting. This is a dungeon song. For a mystery of sorts. I guess you could say. This will be associated with a dungeon where something seems to be going on and we don't quite know what it is. So the dungeon itself is kind of a mysterious thing to explore and figure out what's going on. There's also a musical connection to something else that we, I have played music of before. So you might be able to figure out what this has to do with if you listen to the instrumentation and remember what else I've played for Poker Roll uh, previews for music. Well, have you ever played an RPG where you're like, oh, you need to go beat the bad guys, they're at this hideout, get ready to go fight, and then you get to the hideout, and then, like, everybody's already defeated? And you're just walking through the place and it's way too quiet, like, what happened here? Like, when you're ready for one type of- th when you're, like, ready for one thing, but you go in and then, like, wait, something's different here. Than expected, like, what- what happened? Why does everybody already take it out? <laughs> It'd be something- it's something similar to that. Halo! There's a good example, actually. You expect to fight all these, uh, Covenant and then it says, where is everybody? They're all dead, but... So this song is for that dungeon. I can't tell you what dungeon that will be, that's up to Car. The musical style, however, should give you hints. As to what's going on. If you pay attention. Ah, here we go. The song. Versus Core Part 2. This song is awesome. Hello, stickers. Oh, the Marine you have to kill because he tries to shoot you, yeah.
You wanna hear a song? You wanna hear part part one? There's actually a tonal shift that I really love between part one and part two. Obviously, this song sounds quite aggressive, right? The fold on his back too. Oh yes, that's a that's an often missed detail. The back folds when you're we have a really fat character. Yeah, let me put this in perspective. Here's part one. The butt. It's a good butt. That's one of the best things about this picture. Just that, that butt. That nice butt stretch, too. Well, phase one is more like magnificence, I guess you could say. It's well, listen to it. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but you have a good butt too. Your butt leaves us stays after all. I said it first. Typer said second. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like this picture because it's going to show up in a number of thumbnails probably, so that should be fun. We're going we're to touch up the edge of the lines and then we're going to add shading, I suppose. I mean, we could add shade. I'm trying to debate if I should. Or we're going to do the quick shade method. Maybe I'll do the quick shade. That's where I add basically like a nice cut of warm blush to things if I don't do proper shading. I might just do that. It works pretty nicely by itself. This is phase one of a three-phase boss, Calm Dread. Oh man, I guess I could play- you're actually right about the phase three thing. I could play the third phase too, if you want. I actually played earlier today, but I didn't really point it out at the time. I don't mind sharing some details about the music like this, because... I still didn't tell you why this plays and where it plays and how it plays and who does it play to far. So I'm just I'm just leaving you with more questions and that makes me happy, you know? That's fine. Why is that unpopular? I imagine a filled jacket is more durable, better, reliable. I would prefer a filled jacket over a civilian jacket. Why not? Sounds pretty good to me. I believe a filled jacket is basically more military grade, so it's more durable and such. Which is usually a good thing. Yes, this is phase two to that phase one, so. You may notice all the all the uh, all the grace of the first phase is gone in this phase. Oh yeah. Almost like the wires are exposed, huh? At this phase. I... No, that's not what I was... You'll just have to see. Oh, Sigma! Oh, that's a good- that's a good example. I like that. By the way, it's called Ordo Excommunicati. That is Latin, so somebody wanna look it up? 
There's a little Easter egg there for you. Ordo excommunicate. Go, go plug that into a Latin translator if you want. Order is the part of it. Ex order excommunication. Yes, you got it. Nicely done. See, I think, uh, I think... Nice done. I think he, uh, let's see here, what would he say? The ex- basically, as Carr put it, the excommunication of order. Or of slash by order. Let's see, where did he- he gave me a quote, where was it? If you will not submit, we- oh, here, let me just- I'll just quote him. I'll leave you intriguing quotes for this phase. This is right from- this is right from Carr. Carr's own words. Heck, don't ask me. I can't even spoiler this stuff. He knows what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. But also, let me uh, let me go ahead and play part three of that fight. Oh, hold on a minute. I think I think Aragon finally got ready for bed. Possibly. Oh, let's play this anyways. Oh wait. Right, there's two variations of this. I forgot about that. So actually, surprise, there's two variations. Don't ask me why there's two variations right now. But one moment, please.
don't mind if I leave. Fascinating, I just read those messages. Oh, yeah. Car is a really good writer, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Kiyoshi, you won the reward. You won the award of the message that makes me go the most what the fuck of this of this month. <laughs> what, the, what the hell, dude? <laughs> what is that message? What is that message? I just imagine a black wolf going around with a razor and going, Yeah, which humans... I need to find some humans I can wax! It's like, what? Also, Starview Circuits. Uh, you might remember Starlight... Shit, I forgot the other word. Hold on. This is part two to a dungeon. A Starside Facility. Starside Facility, <coughs> which leads into Starview Circuit. AKA, oh my god, look at the pretty stars. Giant viewing window.
That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil anything else with this. Technically, I am spoiling things left and right, but in a way that doesn't answer a single question completely and leaves you guys to theorize until it actually comes up. Which I actually rather like more than just not giving you information. I think I think letting people's imaginations wonder where things are going is more fun than giving no information. It's just lame when you give too much information, you know? Starfy Circus, this is Mario Kart. Now you make me like one think for a second, like, was there a Starview Circuit in a Mario Kart game that I can't remember? I don't think there was. There might have been. I don't know. Sounds like it could totally be a, a circuit in Mario Kart. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Kind of got a weird hairdo going in this one. I like it. It's almost a little mohawky. By the way, sometimes it's hard to draw. By the way, a little artist trick for anybody in the digital art. If you're having trouble drawing a line because of the angle, just rotate the picture and then draw the line. It's easier that way. Ah, oh, the zigzagarat. Did I actually say it right for once without actually stumbling on the word? Wow. I'm impressed with myself. I finally said it right. Good work, me. <laughs> Who likes Zigzagoon? I hope you like Zigzagoon. I hope you like Obstagoon too. Oh, hi, Tubby. Hey, Tubby, we're playing Pop Roll music today. How you doing? I hope you specifically like the Galarian line of goons, because that is what will be featured in this place. This is a, this is basically an Aztec temple, but all the depictions are of Zigzagoon, Obstagoon, and uh, Linoons of the Galarian form. If you know if you know Mayan slash Aztec design, you know that it usually features a lot of large faces and a lot of like lines, which fits pretty well with like, Zigzagoon's lines. Those would be a neat dungeon. Also, a lot of traps, probably. It's a fucking Aztec temple. Of course, it's gonna be a, a trap laden. Wouldn't be an Aztec temple if it didn't have traps. That's just that's just a I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a poser. That's what it is. We've looped. We've looped the uh, soundtrack, the new the new songs. Do you guys want more poker roll music, or do you guys want new music? I'll leave it up to you. Let's see what you guys vote.
How you doing, Tubby? Also, why are roughing like a dog? That's odd. Tubby, you seemed a little sad earlier. Are you okay? I don't know, when you were earlier DMing me, you just seemed kind of sad. You're, you were like, well, you're able to do these things that I'm not, basically. I'm like, oh. You know, you just sound like you're putting yourself down. Except for, I, I've been dealing with a lot of things myself, so I didn't really address it too heavily at the time. Oh, you're trying to put me up. Oh, thank you. I was a little concerned, though. I felt like you were sad about yourself. Thank you for trying to put me up. It's been a rough week with these issues. I don't know if you've been aware of the issues, but Tubby, uh, heads up, unfortunate news. Unless something manages to change on its own right now, um, we might be not doing poke roll this Wednesday. If things don't, if things don't improve for my ISP and internet. We're having problems. We're actually running a really weak stream here today because yesterday and today have been bad. And if the badness persists till Wednesday, we'll have to postpone. So, sorry about that. You see, yeah. Hopefully we don't have to, though. So yeah, I'm just kind of completing lines right now. Which makes the picture look better, right? It also makes it pop better for a thumbnail, so... What if I should have a little gap here? Yeah, that probably looks good. Anyways, you... Yeah, and not to mention, Tubby, the, the, the thing is, even if I reduce the bitrate to 500 like I've done today, for tabletop, that makes everything unreadable. It's it's basically be un... It basically would look like shit for everybody watching. So I just can't do it that way. There's no real way to win. But I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you still have, you guys still have to connect to me because I'm hosting too. So yeah, that's that's so that's so not possible right now. Um, I guess on the bright side though, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'm gonna be talking to my boyfriend about upgrading us to a business package so that I actually get so that I actually have the right to have reliable service since I am doing this as a business. Um, it's a bit of a shame, though, because it's basically going to double my costs. Uh, but it might have to be done, so we're going to be talking about it. I don't know how quickly the business upgrade would even take place, but can't be much longer than waiting for the rep for the on the eighth. Hell, maybe if the rep comes, what? Maybe when the rep comes, they could install it. Then I don't know. I can tell you this much though: being on a business package means I would get faster service for these issues. So, yeah. 
Oh, how did the picture come out? I didn't look yet. Did, did Rocky put it up yet? This is kind of a question for everybody. Is, is the growth right picture up? I, I don't know. He hasn't... He probably discorded me, but I'm not really paying attention to Discord right now. I'm working. He showed me? Oh, he showed you? He showed me too. It looked pretty good. Now that you made... Now you weren't... Not so, you were too small before, but now you're good. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about with Aragon Poisaz. If he considers it an investment, then it's an investment. Even if it means loss of money for a while. I mean, he's right about it being an investment. In the sense that I... It would not only fix... It would not only increase my reliability, but it would also, like, increase the amount of upload and download speed I have available. On top of that, I have purchased a Cat6 cable. With that Cat6 cable, I believe I can I stream at a... I believe my upload rate will not be no longer be throttled, and I'll get up to... I want to say up to 500... megabytes? Upload? I guess what I'm trying to say is, if, if this is done, I could theoretically do 4K streaming. Not that I really have the computer set up for it, but... Yeah. That is a possibility, a thing. Oh, so we're gonna play more poker roll music since nobody really commented against it or for it. I only got a it's up to you, so yeah. May as well then. One moment. I'll get the soundtrack played. Actually, I'll get certain songs played. I, you know, I'm gonna play the uncurated music. Why not? There we go. I think that's all of it. Hope I missed two. One, actually. Uncurated means I haven't talked to Carr about whether or not we're using it. Or rather, including it. I do believe all this instrument, all this music will be included, though. Because it's all so good. So this act I just realized this song, act I need to play. Pfft. This song has a pairing that I need to share. There's a three-part dungeon situation. Let me share it. Uh, starts with this song, then goes to this song, and then goes to that song. Okay. I don't... F I really feel like this song should not need an introduction for most people, but you might... Uh, Poizaz might need one, I don't know. Or maybe Poizaz remembers. Probably the most mysterious uh, continental location in the PMD world is the Hidden Land. It's a floating island. Very important in Explorers. Very. It is essentially Dialga's stopping ground. But in addition to that, it, it contains some odd ruins that were never really expanded upon or discussed too heavily in that game. But what if, what if I were to say those ruins held an additional importance? A lot of people don't even remember the ruins, they only really showed up in a cutscene. But they were there. They were, they had some really interesting murals. Yes, there might be. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much. Not, not to mention this is still uh, uh, in idea phase right now. What the discussion of this? But uh, yeah, amongst our amongst our exploration of other continents, we may also be going over to this one. Of course, the hidden land is a floating continent only that only the chosen are granted to visit. In the case of explorers, it was 
the main character and their partner were allowed to go there. But it's very simple to say that uh, the Hidden Highland... The Hidden Land would technically be accessible to any Pokémon that can actually get there. It's up in the sky. There's a few ways to get to that. But it is probably a sacred place. Sort of, you know. Not a place you just fucking trash and hang out to along too long. But as far as heading there for a purpose, um, yeah. Because of the relic. What was the relic again? Ah, yes. I kind of forgot. Was the relic? Did the relic grant access, I believe? But there wasn't really a force field. The way the relic granted access, it allowed Ra Lapras to fly. Lapras was, a, was kind of the steward of the Hidden Land. And it let it fly over. I'm not really sure if the relic, like, would have prevented access if, say, the main characters had a flying Pokémon. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of curious about that. The relic was never really super defined. Like, if they had tried to go there without the relic, but with a flying Pokémon, would they just been, like, force filled it away or something? I don't know. The elevator tutorial tower. Ah, oh, that's right. Ah, oh, specifically the stone ship. Ah, oh, that's what it did. Well, we don't. That's less important, I suppose, for our game. I mean, tutorial tower certainly would exist, but I don't think we need to visit it. Probably. Th actually, no, we will, but maybe not right away. Because I just remembered, the Elga and Palkia will have some significance. So we might actually have to visit it. But not, maybe not on the first visit. The stone ship is just a glorified elevator. It's just a floating platform, really. That being said, ever wondered behind the technology of the stone ship? Like, how does that thing work? Where does it come from? Anyways, here, this song. That ruin that the main characters and explorers went through really fast to get the stone ship. They basically went through an indoor ruin and then found a courtyard with the stone ship and then used it. It was not a dungeon, it was a cutscene. And considering the stakes at, at play at that time, I can understand why they hurried through the ruin. But what if the ruin had more to it? So this is the hidden ruins. Okay, Flippy. Is it? I don't remember, actually. The special episode? The f special episode 5, I think you're talking about? If it is, I don't remember. I'll have to look that up. I know that that took place in the bad future. I guess the rune could be there, though. Because the bad, technically, uh, the bad future, the bad future of Explorers is just the hidden continent. It took me a while to figure that out. I wonder what happened to the main landmass. That's a bit of a horror situation when you think about it. Like, that's that's fridge horror right there. What happened to the main landmass of the Explorer's world in the in the bad future? Because you don't go to it. It's, you're not on it. Is it there? Did it get destroyed? Where is it? I kind of wonder, honestly. I mean, maybe it's off to the side. We don't know, but I just have bad vibes for that. Yeah, the bad future takes place on a small landmass, and we have, you have to wonder where the rest of the world is during that time. Probably better off of the rest of the world. 
Probably. So I'll explain the bad future. Time decays. Dialga goes insane in Explorers because time is decaying. The bad future is basically with time frozen. The whole world is a gray mess. Time still moves in a way, but otherwise it remains stagnant. It's constantly dark. There is no, there is really no growth. There is, there is still life, but it is just the remnants of life as things continue to die out without growth. Eventually, nothing will remain. The world has been lost, nullified. Actually, is a better word for it. Also, here's hidden ruins deaths. Ignore the extra word. I add little for these uh, for these uncurried songs. I added extra words to kind of like give myself a little brainstorming uh, reminder. Like remember to talk to Car about the stone ship and stuff when talking about the song. Basically, is what I wrote that for. I was making an off. Oh, I see. I forgot about that game. It's kind of like that though. Yeah. There we go, we clean up the lines. I can do a comparison, by the way, since I use a different layer. Here's without the lines cleaned up, or here's with the lines cleaned up, and here's without. It's subtle. But it really helps the picture pop to have that. Alright, so... Let's actually clean this up, too. Yeah, this is Hidden Ruins Deaths. There's a particular character that will be showing up in, uh, in, in, in uh, our game that is from Super. A certain archaeologist who might be uh, very curious about the Hidden Ruins. And a lot of things else. We might be working quite a bit for this archaeologist, actually. A very valuable asset, too, considering there are so many ruins in multiple places. Yes. Oh, you're excited, aren't you? I'm glad you're excited. I've got, I, I have a theme for her, too. I'll share it later. Yeah, we're gonna run into- we're gonna run into some other- we're gonna run into some old characters. Absolutely. Mario might be uh, out outside of the Expedition, Expedition Society. She, uh, she's probably going to be on the Plates Continent. Maybe we'll run into her somewhere. See, the Plates Continent does have a lot of ruins, so it makes sense that she would travel to uh, check them out. It is kind of her life's passion. Mario is my one of my favorite. Of, uh, she's really she's really even tempered. Like she's very really, she's actually one of the strongest members of the society too, just behind Afros. Like level wise. She has the second highest level of the team. But I don't think she prefers fighting, I think she prefers research. She was pretty- I, I like a lot of- a lot of Wigglytuff's guild are really cool too, but... Is the creature okay? It looks like- hello Jack! No, it's like, you know how cats, like, do a really, really dramatic stretch when they're stretching? This is kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, I think I've done mess messing with the lines now. Should we add some shading? Ah, oh, why not? I want to smash. Well, so does Anne. Anne for smash. And for Smash 2020. The only the only Expedition Society member. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I, I get the reference. The only Expedition Society member I don't really care for is uh, fucking Bunny. <laughs> I forget his name. Forget that Pokemon's name. Fucking Bunny.
Oh, Jack, um, this is a fat fur pitcher. So basically, this 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 character ate a lot of food. But it's okay. He likes it. Buttleby, thank you. Buttleby is the only character that did not leave an impression on me in the Expedition Society. Aphros is all dizzy and cute, and at the same time really competent. Secretly competent, but kind of like Wigglytuff, actually. How Wigglytuff was like, what the fuck are you on, Wigglytuff? But actually, Wigglytuff really, really knows what's going on. Um, I love Arche... Um, Archeops? Is that the right word? Yeah, honestly, Bullaby doesn't leave an impression. Archeop is a love. Because remember the, uh, remember when he he goes with you and your partner? Or not Archeops, I'm sorry. Arkin. Arkin, he's kind of a coward. And he squawks a lot. But when the main character and partner were about to get attacked by Ante, Arkin stood in the way. He was like, I'm, I'm, I may be a coward, but I'm not going to let you defeat, like, hurt our new recruits. And I, at that moment, I really loved Arkin because I'm like, Arkin, you are a bit of a you are a bit of a coward, but when it matters, you're, you you stand up. Good good squawker, good good squawk dinosaur. That fella. Um, uh, uh, of course, Model is great because I love the fact that she researches. That makes her the first example in any PMD game of a Pokemon that bothers to research and chronicle history. That's really important. That's really special. That she is actually one of the reasons that I consider Pokemon Society to be advancing from game to game. Because in Super, her ability to record the past, that is a huge that is a huge deal for a society to advance. If you can take keep records of your past, you can learn from your past and advance your society further. So what she's doing is exceptionally important for Pokemon Society. The Den is pretty great. The Den's a good radio. <laughs> uh, Weasel's okay. Weasel's all right. He's kind of proud. I like I like Weasels. Um, and then you got you got Slurpuff, who eats all the food. I guess he's all right, or she's all right. I guess. And I mean, yeah, I mean, of course. Um, Post industrial that would be good for the future maybe maybe another maybe another uh, Pokemon game sometime could have that I don't know and then of course you got um, Jirachi of course Jirachi I, I don't know why I forgot their name Jirachi's okay Jirachi is amusing. She gave us a great rock battle theme, so why not? I like her. But, uh, but yeah, Jack, uh, this is, uh, if you're wondering what this, this picture will actually be for my, for some of my video thumbnails, because I'm going to start playing, uh, furry games here and there. And this is going to be for fat fur games, because look at this fat, look at this fat boy out here. I feel like adding a little bit of, uh, I feel like adding some sort of Extra detail. I'll worry about this in, in, in after the shading part. So let's go ahead and do some shading now. Yes, this stream is running late. I don't just because I want to. Oh yeah, here uh, you might you might recognize this song. It really should. I, it's easy. I mashed up the original Post Town theme with a piano remix, which was I put them together. It sounds a lot better now. It, yeah, it's pretty late. Welcome back, Flippy. F Indeed, Post Town may will probably be visited at some point on our Miss Continent visits. I don't really know Gates that well, but I do remember a few Pokemon like Swanna. I wonder her, if her cafe is still up and running. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It was an okay. I mean, Gates was not. Gates is the weakest entry of the PD games, but. It's not by. It's not really bad. Just the weakest entry. Gates and Super happen within a few years of each other? Makes sense. Makes sense. Da, 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 
Okay, good night to you, Kiyoshi. Anybody who was up for staying late, well, we're, we're gonna run a stream test a bit later, so if you wanna stick around for that, then cool. But if you don't, that's cool too. So we're just gonna add some casual shading. Good night, Kiyoshi. Also, Kiyoshi, thanks for coming back, dude. I hope to see you on the server some, too. Swana is a sweet old what wasn't Swana kind of aggressive? I can't remember. I didn't play enough gates to really remember this stuff. I mean, tomorrow will probably be tomorrow is Sunday, so we're doing another stream tomorrow, of course, because this was a makeup stream. So tomorrow, I'm gonna assume we're gonna have problems tomorrow too. But we'll we'll just we'll just do our best. This is another late running stream, though. Just FYI, everyone. How's this looking, by the way? That, is, that looks pretty good with the shading, huh? Oh yeah, this song, by the way. You don't think I would neglect Weekly Tough Skill showing up in Poker Roll? This is gonna be a best of the whole. This is the plan is to basically make Poker Roll connect all the games together. And given enough time, I think it's entirely possible. I think Treasure Town is my favorite town of the whole series. Also, note that whenever we have a returning location in Poker Roll, it will use a new- it will use a remix. So this is a remix, obviously. Isn't it a nice one? It's so faithful. It's faithful, yet it's new, you know? It's, it's an enhanced version. Uh, part of the reason I'm excited to visit uh, old locations... Also, thank you very much for the follow. I think that was a follow. Thank you very much for that. I uh, appreciate it, really. Very helpful. Very helpful to get new follows. Faffitarts. 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 <laughs> And of course, again, I'm not neglecting anything. Ba-dum-ba-dum-da-bum, ba-dum-ba-dum-da-dum-dum. 
I prefer Treasure Town, but the square is pretty great too. Both of them have wonderful songs. That much is without a doubt. I think Treasure Town had both the better song and the better layout. It was just an interesting layout, like on a cliff and all. And then Sharpedo Cliff over it too. Like, just a really cool design. Topography wise, I think it has the most interesting design. Though Gliding Town is really cool too. It's just, yeah. I just realized I forgot something. Boop. Oh wow, that's uh... There we go. Luminosity makes things, well, luminous. It's quite nice. Luminosity actually makes things more shiny, which is good for lighting. So I have Treasure Town is better, but overall I like the character. I don't really, man, it's been so long since I played Red and Blue Rescue Team that I don't really remember the characters, but I don't want to hold, I'm not saying that against the characters. It's just been such a long time. Uh, I, I remember Wishikash. I, that's it, actually. I remember Kangaskhan. Fucking love Kangaskhan. Good mama's Kangaskhan. So sweet. Good, 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 good big mama. <laughs> to put it simply. I'm glad she showed up in other games too. Gengar was, yeah, actually Gengar was really kind of a dynamic villain. Villain to hero, actually. I feel bad for him after that whole story was over. Oh, I messed up again. That's, that, that should be fine. Shady is a delicate art form. I say before I just dump it at randomly. Of course, you don't always have to be delicate, of course. To you, you know. Looks pretty good so far. Try to bait what looks better. Probably that. Yeah, that actually looks better. I'll do that. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, God, wait, what? Are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. Tell me. Because I think I've run every single one of those briefly. Which one? Oh, shit. Uh, let me know. I need to remove that from the list and everything. 
I do not want to. I do not want to list that publicly if that's the case. Really? Damn it! That, all those are from a curated list, like a list of like here's contest entries and stuff. Here's one of the contest entries. What in the fuck? Okay, which one? Tell me right now, Hyper. I need to figure this out immediately. Sneak feast? Are you fucking with me? That one looked really good. Yeah, I, I briefly ran that one. Okay, uh, where should I go? I guess here. Gaming with an ACP, okay. Looking, looking. Trojan Win32 trick clock was detected when I opened the before I even opened the folder. Is that true? It looks if it looks like this when you open the folder, then it should be goods. Well, open up said that if you open the folder. All right, hold on. Let me go look at my version of it. I'm confused. Could this be a false positive or? Hmm. What we do? I'm going to immediately do research. Hold on a second. This is definitely something I have to prioritize. Right. So, sneak fest is right. Sneak fest is right here. So I don't have the exact same layout of folders, but... Well, let's see. Win32... Well, hold on a minute. I have a different layout than open up, but it doesn't look very threatening. Let me do a little research. And by research, I mean let me activate my antivirus that I do have. I just don't use it that often. I mean, I use it often enough, but... Let me do a manual scan of that folder. I'm examining things now. I'll do a full scan later just to be safe too. Um, bet this thing needs to update. Yep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the. Uh, It is possible to false positive. Let me, uh... Let me go to the page for it. Hold on. Where I found it originally. Um, okay. Put all old version windows only. Put all pages here. So, where I got the download was from the Windows version of the Sync Feast Game Jam version. Um, it, um, so here's the page for it, by the way, there's been, this is a forum page and there's people talking about the game as of 42 minutes ago. Does anybody want to drop, I guess I could drop down a message or something. It doesn't seem like anybody's having issues.
Is it pop? Like, there's people actively talking about it. Nobody's talking about Trojans. I'm just kind of confused. I... I mean, I'll... Hold on a minute. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, manual scan of the... of the folder. Actually, I'll, I'll just scan my entire furry games folder. Hold on. Let's just do that. What do we got? I'm doing it right now. It's not gonna take very long. This internet issue could be because... Doubtful. I'm like pondering that. Doubtful? Because Aragon was also experiencing issues. Also, what kind of virus would drain... What kind of virus would drain my bitrate at certain times, but not at other times? All the same, I'm very much on board on doing a full system scan now. I'm not saying it's impossible. But how do we know that it's Sneak Feast that did it? How does he know that it's Sneak Feast did it? Anyways, I got a malware by score. Nope, nope, no, nothing wrong with those. Okay, I scanned my entire furry games folders, and the scan found nothing. Also, again, why would Sneak Feast have a virus in it if there are people actively speaking about the game and having no issues? That being said, Check something. But I mean, I guess I could run a. Let's see, where is it? The threat scan. I could try a full scan, but I think threat scan is probably fine for now. One that connects through the internet to the. I mean, it, I don't have enough proof that this is actually true. There is such a thing as false positives. But also, if it was a, if it was a virus affecting my internet, it is still quite strange that it only affected during peak times.
But right now, um... I'll just multitask that scan in the background. The air guns pro could be having problems during your leg issues? Yesterday, yes. Today, no. And if you're wondering, I had I had sneak I had this I had these games before any of these issues. Anyways, I have the the thing is the thing worth considering is that I have seen false positives before, where basically, um, here, let me give pros an example to you. So you have an, a game that has a slight ARG element to it, right? So what it does is it will delete or move or generate files in its in its like say its folder when you are playing the game. It'll do it in a weird way to, uh, say a horror game, doing it to be creepy. It's not malicious, but it can be detected by a virus scanner as a virus because it does that. Good night to you, LKM. In any case, I have Malwarebytes running right now. Also, there's another thing to think about. Let me go to my driver fast. I had another thought. Technically, when you put something on Google, it will scan it. Something I should remind you guys. When you put something on Google Drive, it will it will automatically scan the files, generally. With one exception. Let me see something. Not if it's too big. Right. Total file size. Something went weird. That's not exactly helping the case. Everything froze up for a second. One minute. That could have been malware bytes, though, to be fair. Um, Sneak Feast is 10 megabytes. I don't... I don't feel that's too big for a scan. Malwarebytes I'm having running do a threat scan. It's not a 100% computer scan, but it scans everything that's important, basically. Um, I'm gonna actually... Wait, he gave me a... To be fair, though, he detected something in particular, so let me get try something.
What did he say it was? Ah, uh, Tigger Paw. Tigger Paw. What is Tigger Paw? I'm gonna find out. What does this guy do? Thread Encyclopedia, tell me. Has hot, it has medium damage potential. Right. I'm fairly familiar with my file. Like, I'm very familiar with my task manager, so give me a minute here. I basically know what every process exists for, so if I see a weird one show up, I can notice it. Currently, no unusual processes. I know what to I know what to look for as far as evil files go. Where does this usually show up? Sales information compromises system security connects to Earl's IPs. After I write the system is filed up by another node, file download. Download by Arise for the W2AKM D loader whiz. <laughs> Seems to gather data. what it does, apparently. I am reminded that it's I'm not saying it's impossible. Last question I need is Windows Security. Windows Security, is that a thing for Windows 7? I don't know. Let's see. Let me do a little research. It's always good to be safe. Uh, Windows Security. See, that's a Windows 10 thing, isn't it? Then that being said. Um, by the way, the uh, Valor Bytes is still scanning away. I guess I should go back to the picture or something. Here's what it's doing, though. So it's working. It hasn't found anything. Um, Valor Bytes has generally been reliable for me. Um, so... I will note that this uh, this does seem like something that could relate to uh, internet issues. So I'm taking with, I'm taking this with some salt. I'm taking this with some consideration, I guess you could say. Um, I'm pondering and researching right now. 
I seem to have... This version? Yes, I do seem to have the latest version. Yeah. I do have the latest version of Sneak Feast. Well... Hi, Jacob. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and leave a little... It just doesn't seem like a dodgy developer. That's the thing. Like, I, I liked you guys to the forum of that. So, um... I'm gonna sign myself in if I can remember my... Oh, I forgot my password. Yeah, sorry about the delay. We'll come back to the picture in a bit. Things are a little slight down at the moment. Slowed down a little because of, uh... Because, uh... Maldivite's doing its thing. They'll be doing that for a while, probably. But, uh... Like, out of all of the games that I downloaded, this one seems the most legit. So it's really odd to me that this is getting a detection. Like, this one is clearly has the most effort put into it. As part of a contest, the developer is active and still working on it. And there's a conver there's conversations going on in the description. Like, it just does not seem like this would have a virus.
Right, I left the I left the forum posts. Right, so hi. Sorry about the delay. Um I think we're I can't prove this game is bad, and it honestly doesn't seem like it would be. But, I mean... Hi, Rocky. Yeah, there's problems, dude. I mean, there's new issues, is what I mean. The, uh, the, uh, by the way, the author was last online one hour ago, so we'll see if he responds. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the nothing to nothing really to do until this system scan is done, which will be probably a long time. I might actually end up sharing it tomorrow, but I mean, this is good. I haven't found anything so far. Usually, when I do do a Battle Robot scan, what this ends up being found is just random or adverse stuff that is very minor, if anything. But honestly, this is good. I'm glad I got prompted. I haven't done a scan in a while. It's really I'm really about due, so it's fine. It's really, I'm really about to. Anyway, sorry about that derailing. Also, hi Rocky. Um, how's it going? It is kind of an odd coincidence, I admit, that that Trojan that was addressed actually does affect internet, and I'm having internet issues. But that's still too. That's too. That that is still too. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's still too basic a similarity to be really considered. Like, oh my God, that's why. You know. That's not... That's not it, but it's nonetheless a good reason to do a system scan. I see Rocky. I might have a virus. Kind of, maybe? I don't know. I don't think I do. But... It's worth checking. I mean, it's a good, it's a good thought, you know. We have random issues, check for viruses. Like, not a bad idea. I'm not generally pretty careful, but I do admit, downloading these way games, you never know. It's kind of a more niche crowd. It's not really officialized. So you don't know. You don't know for a fact if it's all clean, all good. But the fact that only people with Windows Defender are detecting an issue indicates to me that... Basically, I trust my WoW Bytes. If it doesn't find anything with a threat scan, I'll do... I'll trust it for now, and later I'll do a full scan. But a full scan literally takes, like, 30 hours. So I'll do it during a stream break. Basically, I'll do it, like... I'll do it, like, when... I'll do it, like, on Wednesday. Unless... Well, actually, we might do Poker Roll today. If we can't do Poker Roll Wednesday, I'll do it Wednesday. Or after the Poker Roll on Wednesday. That's gonna be my plan. I got some leg and that's not good. Oh, do we? 
I wouldn't be surprised if we drop a few frames just because I'm doing a system scan. Which is fine. How's this looking, by the way? Did I lose my audience during my little, uh... I, lo I lost a good deal of the rest of my audience while I was messing around, wasn't I? Didn't I? Oh well. Looks good to me, but zoomed out a lot. Well, yeah, I zoom out to do the shading. It's kind of how, kind of how it goes. Um... Easy to color fluff. Like, I don't know though, guys. Do you think I should remove the game? I guess to be safe, I should remove it from the list for now. Actually, I think we did loop. All right, let me shuffle. We're gonna do a full shuffle, switch it up. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a few like running issues while I do the scan, because really shouldn't Really shouldn't be doing a scan while also streaming simply because it can cause like drops, but whatever. It's not that big a deal. I mean, <laughs> so like, so like we really had the best time with that in the first place, so you know. Uh, Rocky, did did you post the picture by the way, or what are you gonna do? You're gonna post it tomorrow, you say? Because I already told, I already said in the journal that you'd be posting it. Uh, Day technically. Well, it is tomorrow now. Like, technically, we should probably post it, is what I'm trying to say. Because I already told people we would. I guess, you know. Or did you not finish it? Oh, no, you did finish it. Actually, what was your reason for waiting? I can't remember. Right day. What do you mean? Well, so Saturday was the right day, though. I mean, I guess we can wait. I don't think anybody would give a shit, probably. So, I guess we can wait. But uh, I'm a little confused. Hi, shiny. Hi, Shiny. So, Shiny, are you aware of the problems I've been having lately with numerous things? 
like just streaming and such. Okay, so maybe you're not aware. Last two days, I haven't been able to stream right. Yeah, ISP stuff. Saturday is the new... Saturday, we wanted to put, we wanted to put up the picture Saturday so that people could start their voting. But I guess it doesn't matter. God, I'm overloaded. Whatever, I'll just go over the plan. I do need to write an update and apologize for not posting a picture on Saturday though. Cause I told people I told people we'd be posted on Saturday, so I gotta do something about that. Hold on. Hold on, Shiny, I gotta do one thing first. I gotta- I, I'm going back on my words, so I gotta say something now. I'll double check, though. Blah 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 blah. Actually, Rocky, I'm gonna go to your page and check something. Well, to be fair, you didn't state a date. Yeah, you didn't say today for posting the image, so I guess I just added that in on my own. Okay, fair enough, Rocky, fair enough. I did actually, you know what? I said you'd be busy drawing on Saturday. I'm dumb. We never agreed upon Saturday. I just assumed we did because I'm fucking exhausted. All right, fair enough, Rocky, you win. Wait, what? Rocky, we just left Saturday. Like it's now it's now Sunday for me. What what is going on? I don't know. Rocky, can I just like Rocky? Rocky, what day did you want to post this technically then? That's all I need to know. We never did agree on a day, so it's really up to you, but like, I just need to know. Because now I'm just confused too. Okay. In the meantime, uh, Shiny. So you're currently running tests for that? So here's the thing. My internet issues have been happening. And it's a it's a very it's a very vague coincidence, but it is a coincidence to note that this virus that everybody's talking about actually affects uh, internet stuff. Now, granted, so did a million other viruses, so it's not really saying anything particularly special, but it does make me kind of wonder. So I ran a whaler bite scan, but I really don't feel like I really feel like this is a false po false positive. Trying to download it, dealing with a ton of problems. I think somebody I think the developer said to try a mirror. Did you try the page that I linked, the the, the current page? Because there's two different pages for the game. And I linked to the one where it's currently being worked on. Let's post on Sunday. Okay, let's... Sunday it is then. Let's post on Sunday. We'll post tomorrow, or later, later today. Okay, sounds good. Oh my goodness. Shiny, um... Are you trying to download the version on my drive? Or are you trying to download the version on the site? 
Because if you're trying to download the version on the site, try downloading my drive version. That's the one that people are talking about. Or are you trying to compare? What are you doing right now, actually? You may as well ask that. It's in, in LinkedIn. Oh, wait, that's right. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Shiny. Anyways, since you seemed. I, I called you over here since you seemed interested to, like, investigate it. Um. Hold on, let me provide it. That's right, I realize now what's going on. You're underage. See, I put it in the NSFW section since we didn't know if any of these games were safe for work or not. But we know that this one is safe for work, at the very least, so I can link it to you, you, you this way. Um, here. I don't believe any of these games are NSFW, so just have the list. If you go in the folders, if you click into the Fat for folder, you will find sneak, the sneak game there. So, I would suggest downloading that version and messing around with that one. Plus, you want to download, download, download. You won't have download failed that way, too. Um, so, there you go. Goodness me. What is up with What is up with the last two days? Can anything just go right for a minute? I'm like, not inclined to believe this is a thing, because if it's a thing, that means even more shit happened to me, and I don't... Earth. I think it's a false positive. My 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 opinion of it being a false positive is simply that the, art, the author is making constant updates and stuff, and there's people talking about it. I don't see this being possibly real. But I did leave a, I did leave a forum comment, though. Forum, forum comment. So we'll pay attention to that and see what see what comes of that. Um, I don't think well it's a window it's a Windows default thing, so I don't trust it as much as my well my precious malware bytes. I trust my malware bytes more. To put it simply. Having some leg. It's because I'm writing malware bites as we talk. It will mess with things a little bit, but I don't really care. Trend Micro? Don't know much about it, but generally I that sounds like more trustworthy than a Windows product, I'll say that much. Um I know my about Trend Micro though because they make flash drives, so that's interesting. Um, that's probably really just oh. I love technical difficulties now. Anyways, thank you, Shiny, because I really need some. I need some help here. I guess the initial question is: Is Defender game mad at that version? It probably will. I assume you were using a different version before, but what's actually ironic is the whole idea of this making making the Fat Fur showcase. Back for game showcases thanks to this particular game. Because Open Up posted the other day in the chat, actually. That's the reason I found out about it. This specific game is something that Open Up said he was playing, so I wanted to check it out. And from there I was like, you know, why don't I make a series out of this? And that's the entire 
That's the entire reason. Plus the result in Discord. Okay. Just I just stab, tabbed out of it. No threats down. Yeah, I don't see this being a thing. I'm scanning my whole computer system in case there's something else going on, but... The, considering the fact that the only thing people can find is with Defender, that indicates to me a problem with Defender, not a problem with the game. Because if only one virus scanner can detect it... I mean, I'm using Malwarebytes, so we have yet another resource to detect it. And by the way, I already scanned the game folders and found nothing. But I'm going to scan the whole computer in case it moves something somewhere else and it is plopping something bad down. I'll find that out shortly. But if we, the more programs we use on it, so for instance, your trend, your trend micro didn't find anything. Um, you might. I don't think a system scan is necessary though, because what in, what, what, what Defender did was delete the exe, so it detected the exe as an issue, meaning that the exe itself is the issue if it is, was a true problem, which means that any of these programs could detect it with the issue with the exe. I mean. Hi, X. You mean... Yeah, I'm... I'm not fucking stopping. Nobody's stopping me. I'm not... Nobody would stop me. Mwahaha. I'm not, I'm not stopping this. I'm not stopping that easily. I really think I've seen false pauses before, and also the author. I told the author though. I told the author that people are getting like probably false pauses, but I'd like to get their opinion. Like I asked them, like, "Hey, what's going on here? What do you what do you have to say about it?" So we'll see what they comment back with, uh, if anything. Hopefully, they don't take offense to it. I'm just trying to point it out. You know, Huda. I don't know who they are, but they clearly have some nice art. I don't think they would add a virus to their game that they also put in it. They also put it in a fucking... This was in a weight gain contest submission. So many people played and judged it, too. And now they're working on, like, a, a later version. I just don't see them doing this. I mean, it's not possible. It just seems kind of weird. Which is why I came... Which is why I went to them, actually, so... See what they say. That's pretty good. Sonic Gather Battle. Yeah, it's. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I know about that. I know about that game. Oh, boy. I very much know about that game. That's a good belly. What do you guys think? Probably could add a little more to the front, though. But I, think, I really appreciate this, Shiny. I'm having a really... I'm having enough trouble about having to suddenly be told, Oh, you're. by the way, you have a virus you're dealing with. It's like, what? Don't. I have enough of dealing with... I, I, I literally cried earlier today, so I don't really need this right now. Thank you. In other words. Oh, I'm sorry, Open. So, Open. Um, yeah, the whole reason I... Sorry about that, I forgot who you were. <laughs> I forgot you were using the name again, yes. So, I pl the whole reason I played this game in the first place, or... I I'm building this whole segment thanks to you, really. Because you posted about that game, you posted about that sync game. 
And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I thought about it, I was like, you know, I should make, I could make this a series. And so then I went off for that idea. So, um, I don't, yeah, I think, I think that people are, it is a weird coincidence that people like, hey, there's a treasure that affects the internet. By the way, computer, you're having internet issues, Charm. But to be fair, also, Ar Aragorn was also having them yesterday, and then he wasn't having them today, so it doesn't, doesn't seem, it just seems weird. But, I am doing a, oh, I think Malware Bites is done, actually. Let's see what the results it had, then. I will take a look. One moment. Alright, uh, my rights, what happened? Scan time, 40 minutes. Item scan, 3, 322,935. Threats detected, zero. Threats quarantined, zero. Uh, this was a threat scan. I did not scan every single file on my computer, but the threat scan is designed to basically cover the most uh, vulnerable areas of the computer. All right, thank you, Shiny. Please let me know if you have any other updates, okay? But um, yes, it the threat scan, it it's it, uh, the threat scan. Whoops, shit! I didn't mean to. I accidentally did a rescan. One second. Don't need to do another scan. Come on now. Can I cancel this, please? Hold on a second. Can't cancel till it starts. Yes, let's cancel the scan. Thank you. Cool. I just want to... Okay. Threat scan, our most comprehensive scan. It scans all the places malware is known to hide. Memory, startup, registry, file system, objects, recommend as your daily scan. Uh, the customs, you can also do a custom scan where you can look up everything, which I might do at some point. Probably a decent idea. But the fact is, clean bill of health, clean bill of health for the threat scan is a pretty good sign. Um, if there's anything that slips out of the threat scan, it's usually not that big a deal. It's usually just like, like some adware or something, which basically exists to do nothing but be a spammy thing. It doesn't actually hurt your computer. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's, yeah. I think, open up, what do you think? This game hasn't caused you any trouble, right? You played it, you played it a while ago. Now, open up. Um, you played it a while ago, right? So, has your computer seen any issues since you played it? True, but I don't think it matters, probably. If anything, the newer versions should be better um, than the older versions, so. Thanks for your opinion.
Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Satisfying? Doesn't look like that. Or does more look better? Hmm. Probably not. Welcome back. Welcome back, Cheryl. Welcome back, Yam. I always want to add too much belly blush, because I like belly blush. Maybe it's a little more. Much. I feel like it's 60. I think that's uh that's probably fine. That's probably fine. So a lot of people were gone, people were freaking out about it one of the games I put on the fat fur list and saying it might be a virus. I don't really know if it is. I guess I can't comprehensively say. But, I, I mean, I ran, a, I ran some tests and it looks fine, so. Just stop paying people for who just showed up as to what was going on. Oh, you're busy becoming Yam's mate? Oh, what? Oh. Well, I'm glad you guys were having a good time, at least. God. Why is- why does all this shit have to happen to me? Also, Hyper? Looking like a false positive, my friend. Thanks for pointing it out, but, uh... It doesn't look real. Too many suspiciousness. Too many suspicious things that don't seem right. Um... It's far more likely the ISP, anyways. It really is. I guess it kind of did, didn't it? Well, 
By the way, if you ever want to create a light layer, a very simple way is to just copy the color you're coloring over and then just add a luminosity layer. That's what I just did here. There we go. Look at that. Ah, nose. On the inside of the nose. If anybody has any further updates about the issue, though, I will watch out for them. Just like that, huh? I should pack? I don't know if you quite define it as a pack, but Cheryl's kind of like resin, I just realized. Doesn't know how to quit. <laughs> There is no such thing as too much for Cheryl. Um, I am a beta, yes. Does that look good? I think that looks good. Not too much blush on that belly? Hopefully not. This might be good though. All right, there we are. I'm zoomed out so far because I like to compare something on the... Yeah, that looks, that looks good like that. Let's do that. That's a good belly. <laughs> this is Dr. Robotics Mean Beam Machine 2 player. Remix. Actually. Dark now. Let's 
for it. Let's try it like that. Very indecisive, I'll say. That's good. More shame could be applied because of how big the belly is, but that makes the belly harder to stand out, so let's keep it like that. Though there's one other problem. That is this this here. Oh, I'm dumb. I am so dumb. All right, one second. No. Right, that doesn't work if you do it that way. Grab that. Right. Um, forgot a little trick, or rather, forgot the inverse of something. For proper shading, on the... Yeah, so... Let me try that again. This is the bottom layer. How did I forget this? It's the darker color, so it becomes the bottom layer in this case. So like that. What do you do if you got conflicting orders? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I would probably... Hmm. That's the trouble with multiple packs. But I have managed with multiple masters, so that's not possible. Remember Jago, he may have closed off his pack, uh, increasing this at this point because of having enough already, if you recall. There we go. The tail's not even going to really be seen in the picture, but I still wanted to do a good job of it. Yeah, the threat scan found nothing. I should probably report that back to the uh, Discord. Let's face the picture first. There we go. That's much better. All right, we're done. More or less. Though I would say the pack betrayal thing is less of an issue when you consider that I'm, I'm as a latex wolf part of Reston's pack, but as a Shadox part of Cheryl's. <laughs> People just keep wanting to join me and I can't say no. Instead of adding to your, them to your pack, you could add them to where you pack things. Rather. Uh, um, let's see. But add, you know, let's add some sheen to that. You run the game, it's working. Thank you, by the way, I really appreciate, I'm open up, 
shiny other people testing this because I right now I'm in a rough state of mind thanks to all the problems I've been experiencing lately the last thing I need is to wonder if I'm affected with a virus which is also kind of a thing I'm paranoid about sometimes actually I'm pretty much done here. Might add, yeah, maybe. Well, these are wait, actually, none of these are luminosity. I just realized. Oh, that's why. Right, that kind of makes sense. Though, if I did add luminosity, what would happen? That looks pretty nice, actually. Probably need to tone it down, but. Little she at the top there, that may actually add quite a bit to that. Or just do the whole thing, actually. Like that. And then just lower it down until it looks good. Like so. Well, actually. I'd like to add more of the bottom. There we go. You thought Earth found when you heard this? That's not too crazy. Let's make the belly set out a lot more, doesn't it? Might still be too strong on luminosity, but let's see. Nothing on. Yeah, that 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 gives the belly a nice. Yeah, I like that. That's. I'm glad I added that. Still a little too strong, though, huh? Is 10 enough? Let's do 15. There we go. Just the right amount of extra flair. I'm happy with this. I'm done. People like that. God, I feel beat up. You really, this, so this stream's gonna be split into three parts, by the way. I kinda like organize it. Ugh, oh well. Sorry, YouTube. Um, 
Well, I guess we're not technically done, though. Lon Mulane. Oh, oh, I knew that avatar looked familiar. It is from Lon Mulane. Okay. That explains a lot. Alright, so we're not technically done, though. We're pretty- we're getting there. But, uh, we say- okay, we're gonna save as a new project file, we're gonna save as Fast Red Trans, uh, Dun State. It's called Dun State, whatever. Right, so now I'm gonna merge these guys together. Oh, should I? Let's, let's try it. That's- that's a little too- Thicker lines is not bad for a thumbnail. Check this out. If I zoom out, what looks better? Probably the thicker. Pops better. Better for a thumbnail. Even though it's thicker than I would normally do it. Can't do it too many times or it starts looking wrong. Well, I think anyways, let's see. I wonder if I should should I go even thicker? I could. I could go even thicker. Hello, thank you for the follow. Maybe I'll go thicker yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? It does make the belly stand out even more. I don't know if that's necessary, though. I might be staying up enough with this level. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'm, like, alternating to kind of consider. Maybe it is better thicker, though. Again, I mean. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We have two saves anyway, so I can mess around. We don't need the BG. Though for fun, we can have a BG version. Let's have a BG version real fast. Uh, what, what background do I want? Whatever this comes out being will be fine. Let's see. Or not like that. What I want is, uh... I'm just gonna do abstract art, basically. Alright, there's that, and then... Yeah, so like that.
I made Twizzlers. Pills and joy. It looks kind of stupid right now, but give it a minute. Good night to you, yeah. I don't really know what kind of scheme I'm going for here, if you're wondering. I can change the colors though. If we don't like red, if we don't like the red. What do we like? I don't know. No, I'm okay with the red. Maybe go a little more this way, though. A little more. Alternatively. Slight filter. What, what does everybody feel about this? Thank you. 
Charm's Twizzlers will make you thick fat. I can just think of, I can imagine myself just munch on giant juicy Twizzlers now. Or not even munching on, why not just giant Twizzlers where you just gulp down? Make a giant coil in belly, like it look like you ate a snake. Where's the, uh, oh, actually, is it this? No. Can I get an opinion on the background, anyone? If you don't mind. Or did the stream die? No, it didn't die, okay. All that we need now is... Looks, I mean, this is this is really just throwing shit at the wall, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, last thing we need to do. Make a copy of that. Make a copy of that. Merge that. Merge that. Take this, and then expand it out. Like so. Or just one direction would probably be fine. There's two of me! Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do the, uh, let's do the, let's use the Twizzler actually to our benefit. Twizzler, come here. Alright. You may be wondering what I'm, what am I doing? Well. Shade on the actually, you know, that makes sense. We'll do it, put it here then. <laughs> Shadow into the void. Sounds nice. I just figured I'd layer a little bit of... I could, I could turn that more pink, I just realized. Let's see. Nah, let's keep it... Let's keep it matching the background, more or less. Subtle, subtle kind of like 
embossed effect, I guess. I don't really know how to put it. It's like a slight 3D effect, though. It's kind of nice. I've done this before. It's fun. Also, like, bend it if you want. I want to do a little further. Which can be nice. Stylistic. We're not going to do a, sh a proper shadow because, well, that's one a lot of work into, not conducive to the thumbnail. This is all a little bonus anyways. So let me save this as... Is this a big file? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay. But it doesn't really matter because now FA saves things properly, so... Because uh, somebody want to title this picture. Something about stretching, something about fatness. Hmm. One stretch for my gut, one stretch for me. That full of filling fine. That's pretty good. Actually, I decided on the bliss of a bloated stretch because there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, alliteration. Also, hi, canine. All right, I'll link this up to you guys. Hold on. <laughs> 